President Musabihi, Somaliland President, Kibra Fukubai. If war ever breaks out between Somalia and Ethiopia, Somaliland is the most likely theater. Somalia's diplomatic with Ethiopia over a deal, under which Somaliland has agreed to lease a Red Sea naval port to Ethiopia, has sparked anger in Somalia. Whether anyone wants it or not, there should be a bitter war between Mogadishu and Addis Ababa. Mogadishu recalled its ambassador from Ethiopia last week to hold deliberations on the issue, stating that the port agreement signed first in January would increase tensions and endanger stability in the wider Horn of Africa region. Feelings about the port agreement are already running high. <laughs> Somalis took to the streets of Mogadishu to protest against the deal on Wednesday. What's the deal about? Signed in Addis Ababa by Ethiopian Prime Minister Abi Ahmed and Somaliland's leader Muse Bihi Abdi, the agreement grants Ethiopia a 50-year lease on a naval base with access to Lughaya Port, Audal region for commercial marine operations. Confidential documents show that the deal may be up to 99 years. In return, Ethiopia says it will provide an in-depth assessment of Somaliland's quest for official recognition as an independent nation. The first time any other country has offered to do this. Somaliland will also receive a stake in state-owned Ethiopian airlines. An Ethiopian government statement revealed, although details about this part of the agreement, especially regarding any additional monetary payment, are scant. The port will open Ethiopia up to the Red Sea and the Suez Canal, giving it access to Europe. Details of when precisely the lease will take effect are unclear. Why is Somalia angry about this deal? Somalia and Somaliland have a long and bitter history as Mogadishu considers the self-governing region of four million people to be a part of its territory. Ruled by the British as a protectorate until 1960, Somaliland became independent briefly before it merged with Somalia to form a republic. The region broke away from Somalia in 1991 after it fought a war of independence along largely ethnic lines. Those wounds still have yet to heal among Somali families on either side of the border. Somaliland has since operated autonomously, although with little revenue and with no access to international trade or financing. Somaliland's capital, Hargeisa, prints its passports, issues the Somaliland shilling, and holds elections. Some experts regard the region as being one of the most stable de facto states in the world. But Mogadishu regards any international recognition of Somaliland as an attack on Somalia's sovereignty. The Somali government called the port deal with Addis Ababa outrageous and unauthorized. The federal government of Somalia views this as a hostile move that constitutes a blatant transgression and intrusion into the independence, sovereignty, and territorial independence of the Federal Republic of Somalia, a government statement issued on Tuesday read. We will not stand idly by and watch our sovereignty being compromised, President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud told Parliament on Tuesday. Is there a risk of armed conflict? With the tense and provocative rhetoric, there are fears of a prolonged diplomatic rift between Ethiopia and Somalia. But analysts warned of an armed conflict on either side. There is a history of territorial conflict between the two. In 1977, Somalia invaded Ogaden, a disputed border territory now in Ethiopia. Backed by the Soviet Union and Cuba, which were seeking a cross-continent socialist alliance, Ethiopia responded. During an interview, Somali's military spokesperson, Abdullahi Anod, asserted his country would wage a proxy war if Ethiopia violated the territorial sovereignty of his country. In a meta-post, 
Former Somali Chief of Defense Force Odawa Rage has also said that Abi Ahmed May have miscalculated the history and his country will defend its territory. In an address to the country, Hamza Abdi Bare, the Prime Minister of Somalia, called for people to stay calm. <laughs> إن أي نجقوا أنت هاي دفاع ضلك تعك كم ده بالرجالنا يبدلنا يحركنا لو نسوح تقولكم. I want to assure you that we are committed to defending the country. We will not allow an inch of land, sea, and skies to be violated. He said, "We will defend our land with any legal means possible." We must unite and forget about our differences to defend our land, integrity, and sovereignty. On Sunday evening, in a joint session for both chambers of the Somali parliament, the president of Somalia issued a solemn call to the nation's youth, emphasizing the imperative of preparedness for a potential conflict dedicated to upholding and defending Somalia's sovereignty. The President's address underscored the gravity of the situation and conveyed a sense of urgency for the youth to assume a proactive and vigilant stance in safeguarding the country's independence. Recent statements from senior military officers and prominent Somali leaders indicate the level of preparedness for potential conflict between the two sides. Somali President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud said on Tuesday that his Eritrean counterpart Isaias Afriki has supported Mogadishu's unity and territorial integrity as tensions between Somalia and Ethiopia over a port deal continue. Mohamud who has been in the Eritrean capital Asmara for a two-day state visit, said he briefed his counterpart about the situation in Somalia and the region at large. Our region is very volatile. I just came to share with him the perspectives of Somalia about the region, Mohamud told Eritrean State TV, after he met with Afwerki, adding that Asmara supports the sovereignty, unity, and territorial integrity of Somalia. Eritrea has always been with Somalia, and uh, we are very much grateful for that. The diplomatic ties between Eritrea and Ethiopia have undergone a deterioration over the years. This strained relationship has been characterized by a series of challenges and conflicts, contributing to an atmosphere of tension and mistrust between the two neighboring nations. But Somalia enjoys deep ties with Eritrea and Egypt, both of which are enemies of Abiy Ahmed's government. A recent shift in regional alliances involving Somalia, Eritrea and Egypt appears to be causing notable concern for Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed. Uh, Somali President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud is scheduled to visit Egypt in the coming days for a meeting with his counterpart. This diplomatic engagement may potentially evoke concerns in Addis Ababa due to the delicate geopolitical dynamics in the region. Egypt announced its stance on an initial agreement that landlocked Ethiopia signed earlier this month with Somalia's breakaway region of Somaliland and said Cairo will stand by Somalia and provide support for its security and stability after the leaders of the two countries spoke by phone.